Throughout the Second World War, there were many evil female guards who worked inside of the concentration camps. Lots were known for being incredibly brutal and evil women, who made the lives of inmates a living hell, and they worked at places such as Bergen-Belsen and Auschwitz. But one of the most infamous women to work inside of the camps was Elizabeth Falkenrath, but she was just 26 when she went to her execution, inside of Hamlin Prison. Falkenrath, despite her age, was rather senior inside of the concentration camp systems, and she would become the head female guard who oversaw all of the female prisoners of Auschwitz. But following her execution, her remains and body were exhumed from where they were originally laid to rest. She was dug up and then was moved and buried elsewhere, and still today one of the most evil female guards' graves does exist. Join us today as we look at the digging up and exhuming of the evil female guard of Belson, and as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Elizabeth Falkenrath was born on the 5th of September 1919, and before the Second World War broke out she was a hairdresser and worked in a salon, but then in 1939 she would be called up for national service in Nazi Germany. It's likely that as a young woman she would have been involved in all of the Nazi youth groups, such as the League of German Girls, who were brainwashed into Nazi politics. She came from humble beginnings and her father worked inside of a forest and she had at least five sisters. However, she was called up to service to work inside of the concentration camps. There is some debate as to whether Volkenrath actually volunteered to work inside of the camps and many people were drawn to work for the SS for the fact the pay was better than what they received at the time. But she was inspired by the politics of the Nazis and she had become obsessed with Hitler and his ideas like millions were in Germany at the time. She became part of the SS retinue in October 1941, and she was then sent to train as a female Afsarin, or a female overseer, inside of the all-female concentration camp, which was known as Ravensbrück. This was a camp for only women, and Volkenraff would work and train alongside other female guards, and she had to make sure that no women escaped, and they worked the women incredibly hard. In March 1942, Volkenrath then applied to transfer from Ravensbrück to Auschwitz, which would become the largest and biggest concentration and extermination complex, where the SS would slaughter over a million people. Auschwitz was to become the main extermination camp, and it would be the deadliest site, with the Commandant Rudolf Hurst wanting to slaughter as many as possible. Elizabeth Volkenrath was then transferred in August 1942 to Auschwitz, and specifically the women's camp of Birkenau, the main extermination element of the camp. But when she arrived she got rather ill after being stricken down with a bout of typhus which was rife and she then went to the hospital to recover. But when she got better she worked first in the parcel post office in Birkenau and she would oversee 30 prisoners and would keep an eye on the different packages and parcels that were sent to Auschwitz. Many of these were from the Red Cross and then the goods inside of them would be taken away or distributed within the prisoner population but Volkenrath was also responsible for handing out bread to the inmates. She stayed at Auschwitz-Birkenau until September 1944, and she was then transferred to Auschwitz I, and whilst here she became the leader of the women's area. Eventually she was promoted to the superintendent of the women's camp, and she stayed there until Auschwitz would be evacuated. But she was a brutal and barbaric guard, who would get involved in the selection processes. Prisoners would come to the camp by train, and those who were not fit enough to work were sent straight to the gas chambers for their deaths, within minutes of arriving. Volkenrath would then choose the women and children to die, and she would be also accused at her trial of loading inmates onto the lorries and vans, where they would then be taken straight to the gas chambers to their deaths. She knew that these lorries were going to the gas chambers, and she did later deny this. But she continued to be a brutal and barbaric guard, and she exhibited cruelty and evil against the inmates which she oversaw. It was said by many witnesses that she had a habit of beating women, and she would admit that she slapped the faces of many while she was a guard, but she claimed she did nothing more than this. But one woman and witness, Vera Fischer, would state that she was beaten so badly by Volkenrath that she was sent to the hospital for three weeks. Another also said that on 80 occasions, Volkenrath was seen beating women until they were out cold, and that with her rubber truncheon and weapon, she beat many women to death. Helene Herkowitz also said that she was questioned by Elizabeth Volkenrath, about a ring and a locket that she was wearing. She was then forced to run behind a bicycle to the SS headquarters where Volkenrath was, who then beat her with her rubber weapon, 
which was then locked in a cellar and was given a measly amount of bread and water every three days. After this, Falkenrath then forced her to work in the toilets, and she caught typhus from this and almost died. She was also accused of throwing an old woman down a flight of stairs close to a workshop, and when this happened, the old lady died immediately. Volkenrath would also take the food and water away from prisoners, as well as other supplies, and this led to more suffering. She made inmates do sport, in which they were forced to take part in gruelling exercise, as part of a form of group punishment, and this was so bad that many died from exhaustion. But she would be known for her brutal beatings, where inmates would be knocked out when she struck them, and Volkenrath once caught a girl stealing some vegetables, and she then forced her to kneel and hold the stolen items above her head for four hours. When she could no longer do this, she took out her weapon and knocked the girl out, and people were told to leave her until it was nightfall. But following the evacuation of Auschwitz, Elizabeth Falkenrath was sent to Bergen-Belsen concentration camp on the 5th of February 1945, and she worked there under the commandant, the beast of Belsen, Josef Kramer. She got ill from typhus again, but the state of the camp was awful and shocking with hunger and desperation everywhere. Bergen-Belsen would be liberated on the 15th of April 1945 by the British, who when they got to the camp, found 10,000 dead bodies and 60,000 inmates who were starving and dying. But they also came across a number of guards, and one of these was Elizabeth Falkenrath, who was then taken away to Cella prison, after she had been forced to help remove and bury the corpses and bodies. She was then interrogated, and many witnesses told of her evil, and she was then brought to the Belsen trials, which began on the 17th of September 1945 at Lüneburg. She was charged with crimes committed at Auschwitz and Belsen, and she chose to plead not guilty. She did admit that she saw the selections, but denied being involved in participating in them, and she did claim she hit prisoners. She even said she was forced to live like a prisoner, but she was then sentenced to death. On the 13th of December 1945 at Hamlin Prison, Elizabeth Falkenrath was taken from her prison cell to the execution chamber, where British executioner Albert Pierpoint was using the gallows. He marked a chalk X on the ground, and Volkenrath was then led up the scaffold, and a cap was placed over her head, followed by the noose, and seconds later, the trap door was released, and she was executed. But this would not be the end of Elizabeth Volkenrath's story. After her execution, her body was placed in a coffin, which was then buried next to other executed SS guards in the prison yard of Hamlin Prison, and this was a short distance from the execution chamber. She was then buried in the prison, which at the time was under British control. But in 1955, Hamlin was to be shut, and the prisoners were then moved elsewhere. But the graves of the former Nazi guards were to be dug up, and the remains were then taken out, and this included Elizabeth Falkenrath's body. The graves were mass graves, and Falkenrath was exhumed, and then Hamlin was then handed back to the Germans. But at the time, there was a lot of tension in Germany regarding politics, and some wanted the evil former guards to have a decent burial. But in March 1954, the authorities then started to exhume the bodies from the yard. The specialists identified Volkenrath, and her bones were then put inside of a new coffin, and it was then readied for reburial. In total, there were 91 bodies who were exhumed, and they were then buried inside of the Hamlin Am Vell Cemetery. Previously, World War I soldiers were interred there, but Elizabeth Volkenrath, along with Irma Grazer, Josef Kramer, and many others, were reburied in the cemetery. It was said there would be no gravestones allowed for the former guards, but only wooden crosses. One newspaper article documented the event and said, British occupation authorities refused to interfere with German authorities who moved the bodies from a mass grave to individual plots in the city cemetery after a campaign by neo-Nazi elements in Hamlin, Lower Saxony. 30 of the 90 bodies of the executed Nazi war criminals have already been moved from a common mass grave near Hamlin and reinterred in the city cemetery. The remaining bodies were removed later. Amongst those reburied, a Josef Kramer named the Beast of Belsen by the inmates of the notorious death camp, and Irma Grazer, and Elizabeth Falkenrath who hounded women prisoners at Belsen. Elizabeth Falkenrath had her body moved from Hamlin Prison to a nearby graveyard, which was then interred alongside many other evil executed Nazi war criminals and guards. As time went on, lots of neo-Nazis would visit the gravesite and hold gatherings there, and many wooden crosses were also placed there. But today the resting place of Elizabeth Falkenrath is a grass field near to a path, and any references to her have been removed. But Elizabeth Falkenrath was a brutal and barbaric war criminal, 
who inside of Auschwitz, Bergen-Belsen and Ravensbrück became a rather senior female guard. She would, following her execution, be buried inside of Hamlin Prison, but she was then exhumed and buried elsewhere, but the story of her exhumation is not the most well known. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.